Hi, this is Shobh Sapamaski. Now I would like to discuss the topic personal conduct and appearance here. In personal conduct and appearance, we come across the subtopics like etiquette and manners, table manners, dress code, gender bias in communication. Here. Let us discuss one by one here. Etiquette and manners here. Besides our eye qualification, besides our experience, the manners matters much here. The way we behave in the society, the way we behave with the individual is very important here. The nowadays society expects from us is our manners here. For better understanding of this concept, let us discuss the story here. A middle-aged man named Gopal, who wore a safari suit, who had a suitcase in his hand, who was an highly educated, enters the railway station. After entering the railway station, he calls the porter to carry his luggages and asked him to follow him. The Gopal entered the waiting hall and sat on a chair. After sitting over there, he asked the porter to keep his suitcase side by him and paid some money to him. But an eat argument takes place between Gopal as well as that porter here. Because whatever the money the porter had demanded hadn't been paid by this Gopal here. And then that porter with an angry face he went out. After some time, Gopal took a towel from his suitcase and he went into the washroom. After washing his face, he came and sat on the chair. After sitting over there, he took a peanuts and a soft drinks. He, after eating the peanuts, he threw the paper on the floor. After drinking the soft drinks, he threw, he threw the bottle on the floor and then he went out. After some time, another middle-aged woman named Saroja who wore a cotton sari, she too entered the railway station, she had a suitcase in her hand, she too called the porter to carry her suitcase and asked him to follow her. Saroja entered the waiting hall, after entering the waiting hall, she just paid the money to the porter, what he had demanded and the porter becomes very happy and he went out. Then the Saroja took a towel from her suitcase and went into the washroom. After washing her face, she too came outside and sat on the chair. After some time, she too took some peanuts and soft drinks. After eating the peanuts, she threw the paper in a dustbin. Even she threw the bottle in a uh, soft drinks bottle in a dustbin here. And later she too went out. The foreign girl named Melissa who was sitting in a waiting hall was observing both these characters here. That Melissa, a foreign girl, she observed even the Gopal, the way the Gopal behaved earlier and now she had observed even the way behaved by the Saroja. And that Meli was, Melissa was surprised to see these two different types of characters that too in a country like India. So that's what happens here. Whenever we are boarding the bus or the train, we must give way to the uh, elder people, the oldest people or to the uh, oldest women or to the physically challenged people here. When we will be sitting in the bus or in a train, we must give seat to the oldest people first. So there we will get a lot of respect, we will be respected by everyone. And even, the, even in the hospitals, when the people like oldest people or the women, if they won't get a seat, first we have to give our seat to them. And we have to make them feel comfortable. So we will be respected by everyone here. Even while driving our car in the crowded street or in the crowded road, we must give way to the other vehicles to pass through right side. We must not block the road. So this is considered as good road manners here. We must give our hands to the needy people. There are some people who will be suffering throughout their life. What they want from us is to listen to their problems here. They come to us, they wish to share their problems. If they come forward and share their problems, then we have to listen to them. So that at least by telling their problems, they will get some big relief. Whenever we will be standing close to our friends, or to any strangers, we must not show an indexed finger here. So it is not considered as a good body language here. We must, we must not do like that. 
and we come across some euphemistic expressions sometimes instead of telling i disagree with you we have to use i beg to differ instead of saying unemployed we can use the word as between jobs the way we speak is very important here the way we speak with the people the way we behave in the society is very important it's just like a mirror so whatever we see in the mirror the same thing will be uh, the same face can be seen by us here so as per the newton's law for every action there will be a reaction so that's why nowadays etiquette and manners are very important here the way we behave in the society okay the way we communicate with the people so most of the organizations most of the institutions even the society expects from us is the good manners now let us discuss the table manners here table manners is also a code of conduct especially at the dining table here it reflects our personality of what kind of a person he or she is here especially at the dining table we follow certain rules it differs from country to country it differs from culture to culture here table manners helps us to uh, communicate and respect both guest as well as the host alike here so especially when we'll be sitting at home we'll be reading a newspaper along with having a breakfast we will do simultaneously two works while having the breakfast we'll read the newspaper whenever we invite any of the guests to our house at that time we won't do the zoom so we'll just have a breakfast with the guest here so this is accepted at our home here after having a meal similarly after having a meal taking a long berth is not accepted in our is not accepted in western culture whereas in our culture it is accepted here while having the food making or slurping sounds is not accepted in western culture whereas in indian culture we just follow them smacking our fingers smacking our fingers while having a meal or after the meal is accepted and appreciated in our culture whereas in the western culture it is considered as a bad manner or the uncultured behavior here so smacking the fingers is nothing but it is appreciating the cook who had prepared, prepared the dishes in a tasty way and next one while coming to the dining table we must wash our hands clean our hands and the way we sit at the dining table the posture the way we communicate with others the way we communicate with the server is very important here we should not touch all the parts of the food here we should not take only some part which is be very favorite for us we have to wait until all the food is served let the food is served to everyone or at the time of having a food making sounds with the utensils is not good making the sound with the spoon so while stirring is not uh, considered as a good manner here we have to sit so that whatever we do it should not irritate others here that we have to follow here apart from this even after finishing the meal we should not get up immediately we have to wait until let the others finish their meal while having the meal we should not talk with the cell phone all these things has to be uh, looked off because whatever we behave that will be looked after by all the people those will be seated side by us here so that's why table manners reflects our personality next one dress code it is rightly said that man is known by his dress sign address here the colors or the clothes we wear the clothes we wear the colors we choose the ornaments we wear the tie we wear and the pen we use says a lot of thing about our personality of what kind of a person he or she is especially during formal occasions we follow certain conventions here we follow certain conventions nowadays in the multinational companies or in the corporate companies dress code has been set in each and every corporate companies here for men he is going to wear a sky blue shirt and a dark navy trousers and a tie whereas for the women she wears a cotton sari even the dress code differs from country to country and from culture to culture the sari 
a woman who wears sari in maharashtra is quite different from the women who wear sari in tamil nadu similarly the women who wear sari in kerala is quite different from the women who wear sari in karnataka if you take within our state itself the women who wear sari in kodugu is quite different from the women who wear sari in mysore suppose if a kodugu women in her own style when she uh, if she enters the interview in mysore she feels somewhat uncomfortable here that would happen say wearing t-shirt and jeans pant for men wearing top and jeans pant for women is not accepted as a formal dress here sometimes wearing a gaudy colors like a dark yellow these things should not be done here apart from this in many of the educational institutions like schools and colleges a uniform has been set up in different schools here each school will have their own uniforms here the main purpose of the uniform is for the sake of uh, unity equality identity and discipline here. unity in order to make the students feel one so that's why in order to make them that we are all we are all one so for the sake of unity and secondly equality there should be no discrimination between the rich and the poor we are all equal and thirdly for the sake of identity recognition so within the school premises or uh, outside the school premises one must recognize that this particular student belongs to that particular school or or college here so that's why uniform is made here apart from this even in the public in the society we recognize their professions by seeing their dress code by seeing their uniforms by seeing their dress code we identify that he is a police he is a doctor he is an engineer he is a driver he is a pilot so that's why even this dress code adds an extra flavor to our personality especially in the interviews the students will be more serious and cautious here uh, especially in the civil services exams like upsc and kpsc ias and ks exams students will be very cautious because here they have to clear the three rounds here preliminary test main exam and last one is personality test here in the preliminary test it is nothing but an objective type exam here the marks whatever the candidate scores will not be considered for the uh, ranks but still in order to qualify this he has to clear that and after clearing the preliminary test you will be uh, forwarded to main exams here you will be allowed for the main exams in the main exams it will be of descriptive so whatever the marks you will score will be counted for the uh, ranks here after clearing main exams you will be uh, further allowed for the third round that is personality test here so your personality test is nothing but just like an interview here so here the candidate will be very cautious and very serious here he will give an utmost importance for his appearance his hair style his dress his clothes his shoes so here he prefers to wear sky blue shirt and a dark navy trousers and a shoes whereas for women she prefers to wear light color sarees here light color cotton sarees so that's why dress code is very important here it reflects our personality as of i told earlier it is rightly said that a man is known by his dress sign address here and the last one is gender bias in communication it is a form of unconscious bias which occurs when one individual unconsciously attributes certain attitudes and stereotypes to another person or to a group of people here it's nothing but prejudice mind over the other genders in the olden days women were not allowed to work outside she was restricted within the four walls she was forced to do the household chores but nowadays it's not like that women had entered in each and every sphere of the world here in each and every department she is working right now in each and every areas she is working like uh, an engineer doctor uh, driver pilot she is working in many fields even in some professions uh, we have prejudices like uh, suppose if anyone is working as a nurse means we think that only women will be working over there but it's not like that many men are also working as a nurse and another one profession uh, for an example just like a driver we think that if anyone is working as a driver we think that he might be only men no it's wrong nowadays many of the women are also working as a driver 
and in some of the organizations we have come across gender inequality like uh, uh, sexual harassment racism unequal pay poor medical care lack of employment uh, equalities or opportunities women were less promoted compared to men all these things we are noticing even now also in many of the organizations here in most of the organizations so we come across men and women both will be working and there will be a colleagues some men colleagues will be harassing the women colleagues or disrespecting them or making some gossips towards them that should not be done here nowadays most of the organizations had given a key post to the women like the secretaries chairman or the president here because women knows how to work get done by the employees because of their commitment because of their patience women had been given such an higher positions here one must be polite firm firm and had to listen towards others while they are speaking this is very important here there must be mutual respect a mutual understanding between both men and women here so then only uh, any organization can develop or grow here for the overall for the upliftment and overall development of any of the organization there must be a mutual respect between each other men and women here thank you